What's up? My name is Technobe here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be showing you how you can open your NAT type for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Currently, it's the beta, then it'll be the open beta, and finally the full game rule release. However, this guide will apply to all along the way and well into the future. If you'd like to open your NAT for PC, this is the video that you're looking for. I'll be covering the Windows firewall as well as port forwarding in your router. Don't worry, that may scare you away, but it's incredibly simple and I have a way to make it even simpler for you in case you really don't know what's going on. So without further ado, how exactly do we do it? Well, first of all, we need to check if your NAT type is actually limited. If you've previously played Modern Warfare 1, then more than likely your NAT type will still pretty much be set to open and you won't need to worry about it. But to check your NAT type, simply fire up the game and on the main menu here, click settings in the top right, then account and network and simply click network info if you're not streaming. This is incredibly important because if you do click this button, then you've just shown your public IP address to the internet and that's really not a good thing. However, you can see line 4, NAT type is currently moderate for me. I'll be showing you how you can set this to open for PC, it's incredibly simple. Further down here, we can see these IP addresses end with colon 3074. This is one of the ports that we'll need to forward that the game relies on. So I'll click close here, head back, head back, and finally quit. Now, if you're on Windows 10 and you have Xbox networking or something like that installed, it's really simple to do. And if you have this option, then it may work for you. If you don't see the option, don't worry about it, we'll be continuing with the guide anyways. To check to see if you have the easy way of doing it that may or may not work, simply open up Settings in Windows. Then head across to the Gaming tab and you should see Xbox Networking or something like that. You should be able to click Fix Now and just like that, your NAT type will be open. If you don't see this option or clicking Fix Now doesn't do anything for you, then that's what this guide is here for. First of all, we'll need to make sure that certain ports are allowed through the Windows Firewall. All we need to do is hit Start and type in Firewall and open Windows Defender with Advanced Security. If you're using an antivirus software or you see something like this, then you'll need to set these settings inside of that software. Otherwise, if this error isn't here, we can head across to Inbound Rules on the left hand side here, then New Rule on the far right. Inside of here, we'll be clicking Port, then Next, select TCP. Inside of a specific local ports, we'll type 3074, comma, 27014, hyphen, 27050, and we'll be copying this and pasting it into a notepad file just so we can get this later on. In the description down below, you'll find these, so you won't have to copy and paste them like I am. Putting that to the side, I'll click Next, Allow, Next, all three ticked, Next, and we'll give it the name MW2 or whatever you want. The name really doesn't matter. New Rule, Port, Next, and now we'll choose UDP. Then we'll type in 3074, 3478, 4379, 4380, 27000, 27031, 27036. We'll be selecting and copying everything here and pasting it into a new line in our notepad file, then clicking Next. Make sure it's UDP. Allow the connection, next, all three ticked, next, give it a name, MW2 or whatever, and finish. Now head across to the Outbound Rules tab on the far left, then New Rule, and we'll be doing the same thing once more. Port, next, TCP, followed by 3074, and the rest of these, TCP, next, allow, next, all three, next, name, MW2, finish. Finally, New Rule, port, next, UDP, Copy in the next set of numbers, paste, next, allow, next, all three ticked, next, give it a name, MW2, finish. Awesome, now we're done with our Windows firewall. Let's actually port forward these in the router to our PC so we can get an open NAT and be the host of games, etc. In order to do so, we just need to open up our router's settings. If you're not too sure how to get to your router's settings, hold start and press R, then type in CMD, enter, and inside of here, Type in IP config, then hit enter. You'll see a whole bunch of responses here. All we're looking for is how you're connected to the internet, where you should then see an IPv4 address or IPv6, and a default gateway. This is the IP address of our router, in my case, 192.168.11. 
I'll be copying this and opening up a browser where I'll then head across to it by pasting it in and hitting enter. In order to make this as simple as possible, I've created a sample router over here. Essentially, you'll want to head across to the port forwarding section, wherever that may be on your router, and you'll see something that looks similar to this. You'll need to refer to the manual, or of course, an online guide for your specific model. There's way too many types of routers, so I'll be showing you one generic way of doing it here. One extra thing, if you do this properly and port forwarding still doesn't work for you, you may need to call your ISP to make sure that they don't outright block port forwarding, they may need to enable it first. Sounds strange and unbelievable, but it is something that happens, and it happened to me. If you're using more than one router between you and the internet, as in maybe an extender, a router, a router, and then the internet, you'll need to port forward at each step along the way. There's a guide in the description down below that explains that for you. Anyways, inside of here, we'll essentially be copying and pasting in these options as we did previously. 3074 is referenced both in the TCP and in the UDP list as such. So when we enter it in here, in my case, 3074 external to 3074 internal, we can select both TCP and UDP in my router settings. If you see only one of these, you'll need to add a new record for both TCP and UDP. Then local IP. If you don't know your local IP, once again, start R, CMD, and click OK. Then inside of here, IP config. Once again, check how you're connected to the internet. In my case, Ethernet, the same place we found the default gateway, we'll be looking for my IPv4 address. In my case, it's 192.168.1.20, and over here, they already have everything filled in except the last digits. So I'll fill in 20 in my case, then add new. All we need to do now is rinse and repeat through all of the different ports in the list here. Some of these are shared, such as these ones, so it's pretty easy to do these as well. So with the next one, 3478, I'll copy paste this in, and this is UDP to 20, add new. Then for some of these, these are ranges, and we can enter ranges in most routers. 4379 to 4380, as such, we'll port forward everything between these two numbers if you can enter a range. If you can't, well, you may need to add these separately, unfortunately. UDP to 20, add new. And now for these last groups over here, we can generalize and port forward all the way from 27,000 up to 2750 for both TCP and UDP without needing to worry about it. So 27,000 to 27,050 on both TCP and UDP to my address, add new, and just like that, you should be port forwarded if you're doing this in your router settings properly. Once again, this basic router is just an example and won't actually do anything. It's just a generic way of explaining port forwarding to those who may not understand it. At this point, we're now complete with port forwarding and we can fire up the game. I'll need to set these on my actual router and drop my antivirus firewall or allow these ports through my antivirus firewall and we should be able to play. So having applied port forwarding, I'll now fire up my game and in just a moment, you'll see that my NAT type is now set to open, whereas previously it was set to moderate. So settings, then account and network, network info, and just like that, NAT type is open. Awesome. So that's really about it for this quick video. If this didn't work for you, you can open up your router settings and allow your PC through the DMZ, which basically puts your PC on the outside of your firewall network and allows all of the ports to come in from practically anywhere if you're not able to get port forwarding done at all. Though that should be an absolute last resort. And once again, if port forwarding doesn't work for you, you may need to contact your network provider and have them enable it for you as mine did. Anyways, that's about it for this quick video. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Technobe here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.